So today, we are making Ina Garten's Butternut Squash Apple Soup. And this is one of her Thanksgiving recipes. Let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is chop some onion. Cut it this way. I'm starting to cry. Fully starting to cry. Just get them chopped, get them small. Tears are flowing, Ina. <laughs> I'm okay. They're tears of joy. Get these babies out of my face. I am um, actually cutting this recipe in half. Tablespoon of butter, tablespoon of olive oil. Now I have my onions and olive oil and butter. Put them on the stove and cook them down. We've recovered from the uh, onion tears. Everyone on the set is uh, crying. One large butternut squash, peeled, cored, and chopped. I have a confession to make. I usually buy the chopped butternut squash. This is exactly why. But this takes a different kind of finesse. It's a big commitment, Ina. Don't try this at home. I don't find this frustrating, to be honest with you. Okay, well, I fought the squash and the squash won. Butternut won. Shelly Z, as they say in Canada. <clears throat> you know, cleaning a pumpkin. Same family, right? I have a secret. I never core apples. I don't, I don't see the point. I just cut around the core. I do a lot of clutching. I clutch stuff. That's why my aprons get so dirty. Because I need to stabilize it somehow. Ta-da! And I just cut around the core. Guess what? Squash, apples. We have one chopped onion, one tablespoon of butter, one tablespoon of olive oil, it's about a teaspoon of salt, a tablespoon of curry powder. I add a little cardamom. Stir it all together. A teaspoon of black pepper, but I really like pepper. I add a little extra. Apples and squash. Water. It's going to be a nice thick soup. I can tell. A wooden spoon that my husband Michael actually made for me. I love to use it actually for Thanksgiving, making cranberry. Cover that up and let it down for about 30 to 40 minutes. All right, it's been about 35, 40, 40 minutes. This took a little bit. Oops! <laughs> it got me a cup of good apple juice or apple cider. I am going to taste it before I serve it. Oh, that's delicious. It could use a little salt, a little Pepper grinders upside down, that's not going to help me. Make sure I don't have any spillage. Garnish it with a little bit of goat cheese and some parsley just to add a little color. So there you have, look at that beautiful. Like a first course for Thanksgiving, it's just gorgeous. Just delicious. I highly recommend adding a little goat cheese. Thank you, Ina, for my Thanksgiving first course. And I'll see you next time for another kitchen adventure.